I admit, I was born into this business. I was born into the world of amusement rides and have been involved with them all my life. As a boy in high school, I became passionate about coming to the factory and seeing what was being made. In the summer, when one of our employees had to go to install a ride in Germany, Denmark, or any other part of the world, I will beg to be allowed to go with them and see all these amusement parks which were located all over the world. There's a unique story behind each Zamperla ride, a product of the vision, talent and courage of a unique company. This is a fascinating story of a family's passion which has lasted for 50 years. Antonio Zamperla gave life to his first amusement rides by uniting his two loves, speed and family entertainment. So, in 1966, the Zamperla company at Alta Villa Vicentina was born. In 1969, Antonio Zamperla invents the first bumper cars for kids. They're an overnight success. In 1971, the company wins the loyalty of many carnival operators in Italy and elsewhere with the first automatic punch balls. In 1975, Zamperla begins production of the Mini Avio, showing remarkable insight and an ability to adapt to the ever-changing demands of the marketplace. 1976 sees Alberto Zamperla, the founder's son, moving to America, where he opens Zamperla Inc. as exclusive distributor of Zamperla products for the North American market. In 1989, Zamperla signs a contract with Disney to create seven rides for its new Euro Disney amusement park in Paris. The company undergoes a complete restructuring to meet the very high quality standards required by Disney. The Disney experience was fundamental for Zamperla, not just for the company in general, but also special for our engineers. New computing methods, more attention to safety, more attention to details. From a commercial point of view, when other amusement parks found out that we have such a big contact with Disney, we didn't have to provide any more reference. That reference was enough to make us sell ride all over the world. In 1996, Zamperla Asia Pacific opens in the Philippines, confirming the company's strong international intentions. Today, Zamperla SPR employs more than 400 staff in eight different countries. Italy, USA, Slovakia, Russia, Belarus, UAE, China and the Philippines. In 2005, founder Antonio Zamperla became the first Italian to be inducted into the IAAPA Hall of Fame alongside illustrious pioneers of the amusements world such as Walt Disney and Walter Knott. In 2010, the Zamperla Company wins the prestigious contract to renovate a piece of New York City history, Luna Park in Coney Island. We opened Coney Island in 2010. Well, we didn't just open it. We actually rebuilt it from the ground up. It was me and the CEO, 14 hours a day in the workshop along with all the other guys. We brought over 30 people from Italy to be able to set up the park as we only had 100 days in which to build it, assemble everything, and then open it up to the public. 2014 and a new challenge. Zamperla builds the Thunderbolt, which with its 35 meter vertical ascent, launched the company onto the thrill coaster market. Today the park has two main functions. First, an amusement park, and second, a showroom for all our rides. We bring clients to the park and let them test the rides themselves and see firsthand all our newest attractions. Can you believe we managed to design, produce and launch on the market two new rides every year? This way we can make sure all our rides are loved by park visitors before they are ever sold to our customers. Visual impact is an important part of the success of an attraction. Zamperla designs every little detail from the shapes to the decorations, from the lighting sets to the colors, always with utmost sensitivity towards the culture of the place where the rides will be installed. After 50 years, Zamperla continues to amaze with its audacity, innovation and creativity, amassing a long series of winning products, 
50 years of emotions and unforgettable experiences for all ages. I have to stress that this day, the key factor is being open to change. This allows us to learn new things and talk about the things that were made in the past. I think these are the perfect ingredients for a company able to succeed for a long time to come.